Today is a big day. We are choosing my wedding dress. <laughs> I can't believe I am even saying that. I'm getting married in Vegas at the end of February and I have ordered like, I think like four or five or six wedding dresses because they're gonna be like cute little short mini dresses and I need to make sure I love it and I couldn't find anything in store so we ordered everything online. Three of them have already arrived, so we're gonna start with those three, because if I don't like them, I gotta return them. So let's just get this party started. <laughs> okay, so this is option number one. Let me show you it with the shoes for the full effect. Yeah. These are the shoes that I'm wearing, so I'm gonna be trying them on with every single dress, and I freaking love them. They're so comfy, they're from Free People, I'm obsessed. I'm a little unsure whether I'm wearing this dress properly. Like this is how I did the straps, but I feel like the bow up here and the bow up down here, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I feel like I remember this attaching up here. So I guess you can kind of do whatever you want with the straps. I don't know, like tie them together, tie this one up to here, like whatever you want to do. But I kind of like it with the little bow at the back. I feel like it's kind of cute. So this one is from Hello Molly. And it is really adorable. Like I thought it was gonna be a little cheaper and I wasn't gonna love it, but it is so freaking cute. It definitely makes me look like I have a little more boobs because my boobs are not this big. There's some padding in here and we're just gonna pretend it's all me. It's just all natural. <laughs> I don't know, and I feel like it really matches the shoes. Like the shoes are fun. This is fun. It feels so comfortable. And I really like it, like it's so cute. Okay, I didn't expect to like the first one. I thought it was just gonna be like, uh, move on, but I'm actually really liking it. It is so freaking cute. Maybe if anything, if I don't wear this for my wedding dress, I could wear it for my bachelorette because we're gonna do our bachelorettes the night before. So maybe I could, I could wear this cute little number, but it might be too much, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, next we have this one from Show Me Your Mew Mew. The second I saw this one online, I was obsessed. Like it is just so gorgeous. I feel like so unique. And it just, I don't know, all the sparkles, like I just fell in love. But I fell in love with it with these specific gloves. So let me put them on for y'all. We gotta get the full effect, you know? Personally, I don't love strapless dresses, which made me really nervous buying this dress. But then I saw a photo with a girl wearing these gloves and I feel like it somehow made up for it. And I thought it was so cute. What do we think with the shoes? And I love the little bow in the back. Like I feel like because it has this like frilliness up here, that's helping me not mind the fact that it's strapless. The only thing I will say about this dress is that this little frilly stuff here, it does go up higher than the dress. So it is kind of going into my armpit which I don't necessarily love, but it's not bothering me that much. So I don't know if that's like really gonna sway my opinion. Oh, it's just so much nicer than I expected. I don't know why I thought these dresses were gonna come in and they were gonna feel kind of cheap and they weren't gonna be what I was imagining, but so far they are not feeling cheap and they are looking even better than I thought they would. Like I just feel like such a freaking princess trying on all of these dresses and it's like my wedding is actually real now. <sighs> Holy shit, man. And now we have got the most expensive dress. The dress that is two grand from Cleo Papillat. And holy shit, this thing is heavy, but I feel like it fits like a freaking glove. I don't know what the hell this is. I guess this is some expensive person thing, so I don't wear it and try to return it. I don't know, but holy shit. Oh, look at it. Oh my god, like I just feel like it is so cute. It matches the shoes so well. Like I feel like the shoes are given a lot and the dress is like more subtle, you know? It's more, like it, it definitely is still flashy. Don't get me wrong, but it's not poofy and crazy like those other ones, you know? Holy shit. And even though it has all these beads everywhere, it is still stretchy and it's so comfortable. And I feel like it's just fitting so well. Like look at all of the little details. 
oh my god, it is amazing. Even with my little boobies, like I feel like it is fitting perfectly. Oh my god. It is so cute. Like I just feel so glamorous, like so stylish, but still simple and elegant and not crazy. Like I just feel like it is so smoothing. It just really accentuates my curves. It makes me look so good, but it is still fun. It is still Vegas because we've got all of these beads, all of these jewels, all this shit going on, you know? God, it just feels so fabulous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. Uh, I don't wanna take it off. Uh, I don't know what to do. All right, the fourth and final dress has arrived. And this was probably the second most expensive dress that I bought. It was about $400. And then I also had to pay $160 in duties and taxes. Yeah, freaking insane. And all of that just for it to arrive damaged. Like, look at this shit. Freaking DHL, man. At first I thought it was okay because the only part of the dress you could see was white. But then I slid it a bit and you could see some staining. And then also, I don't really understand how this part got stained, but also up here, there's like a small tear and it's a little dark. And so I think we're gonna have to return this baby. Thankfully, this brand makes you get shipping insurance. So I should be okay, but still, it's so annoying. But you know, since the dress is here, let's try her on. All right, and we have got the final dress. And I'm not gonna lie, I do like it better than expected. I did not realize there's this cute little bow up here, which is adorable. I love the back cutout. I'm okay with the poofy sleeves. I didn't think I would like them as much. And I definitely think it needs, oh God, I just touched it. I just touched the same. I don't know what it is and I just touched it. <laughs> okay, it's fine, okay. I don't seem to have anything on my hand, it's fine. It definitely does need to be steamed. Like you can tell it's been sitting in a bag for a while, but otherwise, like it actually is really cute. Again, I do wish that it went a little lower so that it kind of like cinched at my smallest point, but otherwise it is freaking adorable. And I do feel like this top part here makes it feel like more bridal. Whereas the first two seemed like a, not childish, but a little more fun. It does kind of seem a bit see-through though. Like looking, I feel like I can see my underwear and my tattoos if the layers are right up against my skin. And who knows what that would be like outside during the day. Like would it be more see-through? Which I definitely don't want for my wedding day. Of course, we gotta see it with the shoes. We gotta get the full effect. Like, can you imagine me? I don't know why I'm getting married like this. Like, there we go, holding flowers. I do. <laughs> Honestly, it is really freaking adorable. And I do like it with the shoes, but we're obviously not wearing it because we've got random shit on it. There's like a tiny little stain back there and a rip. So I had to try it on one more time because I'm pretty sure that this is the dress that I'm gonna get married in. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe that I'm choosing this dress. I bought it honestly just because I loved it and wanted to try it on and then I planned to return it. I didn't plan to fall in love with it. Like it's freaking $2,000. What the fuck man, I'm not made of money. But it's for my wedding and everyone else around me has tried to convince me that it is okay, that it is $2,000. And so I'm trying to come to terms with that. Especially when it looks like this and makes me feel this good. Oh my God. Can we see it guys? With a nice veil, with my little bouquet, standing at the altar. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> I'm like nervous. Oh my God. This is like freaking me out. All right guys, well that is the video. Those are the dresses. And I think that this is my wedding dress. Oh my God. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys thought, but I am freaking in love. I love you guys and I will see you at the next one. Bye.